Low Centre of Gravity Wheel Gorilla Hybrid Bastards and welcome to my channel, Sour so One. Yes, it's me back again for a Transformers review. I'm gonna do something a bit different. I'm gonna do a fucking studio series figure. Uh, this is um, studio series number three, Dark of the Moon Crowbar. Yes. Um, now, there is no bio online, it's on the box. I'll show you the box. I don't usually show you the box, but quite nice, just a box. And he's got one line of fucking, um, I don't know if you can read it there. Um, he's got one line of um, bio, and it says, Crowbar obliterates oncoming obstacles to reach the Autobots. Well, thanks for that. So, I got this today. My beautiful um, girlfriend bought it for me. Um, she she did. Um, it was very nice of her. Um, so, yeah, he is a... Um, Oh, what's that? That is a... What kind of car is that? Um, some of the panel lines don't fit on there properly. It's, it's, and I'll show you the reason why in a moment. It's because of the stupid dreadlocks he has. It's supposed to fold up in there and they don't really want to stay folded. Um, uh, Chrysler, I think it is. Um, but a very nice um, SUV, you know, done like the, um, you know, like a police cruiser. Like FBI cruiser. So yeah, some of the panel lines don't quite want to stay put. And that's largely because of the dreadlocks, which I'll get to later. But, you know, it rolls quite nicely. Uh, it'd be nice if those were painted, the, the wheel trims. But, you know, you've got some nice detail in there. You've got, like I say, some of these panel lines just do not want to fit. Oh my, I don't know if it's just this particular one or it's this mould. Um... But anyway, yeah, um, you've got some windows all painted sort of metallic blue colour. You've actually got some real lights. No number plate, but I'm sure repo labels can give me one. You know, like crowbar or something like that. So like, it's just, just don't want to fit together proper. You know, you've got these red cherry lights on the top, which is quite nice. Um, yeah, very... Apart from the not fitting together properly, not a bad um, SUV, really. Uh, like a police SUV. Um, you've got some Decepticon symbols on the side there. In purple as well, which is nice. Just come with these rather pointy uh, weapons, and it is a bit bent. Um, but apparently the, that's a common problem for these things. But warm water or hair dryer will fix that up, and no problem. Um, which I'm going to try in a little while, actually. Um, I'll just fit together, you bastard. So, yeah, so you've got these little hooks on there, and they fit into these little um, notches there. And you can... When it wants to go, you're going to play it. You could put these sort of pointy, pointy sticks on there, I guess. Yeah, so you can put these pointy sticks on there, and you can drive um, into Fools to get to the Autobots, I guess. Um, yeah, it's something you can do, I guess. So I'll take it to robot mode, really. Um, right, so, there's a way of doing it, but I've discovered a different way, but there you go, because I always try and transform these without the instructions, and the instructions aren't exactly clear on this. Um, so, we just disconnect the front like that and just put it out of the way for the moment. We then disconnect this section at the front, and then raise that up above there and flatten the windscreen down. Then we get this section at the back and then we just pull that apart um, from there. Uh, like so. And then we just sort of just basically disconnect everything and move it out of the way for the moment. So move his legs down like that, apart from that one when it comes off. Um, so we'll do his legs first then. So we get his, get his, well, turn everything around. We'll get what will become his foot and move that down. And we'll get this wheel here and move that and put it as part of his heel so he's nice and steady and then we get this section it's on like a double hinge and you just rotate that round and it just kind of stays there just sits there um same for this side pull that down pull that round pull that all the way down and that's just like that so hang on because like i said i've only had this a couple of hours so i've been playing with it so you move basically what will become his arms obviously just out of the way for the moment and we've focus on this back section here so you rotate that back like that and that folds in then that folds in and then that just before we do that though we get these dreadlocks and we pull them down like so same for this side pull them down like so 
and we rotate that into his back and then we pull this bumper which will become his ass like so and everything just kind of sits there and then you got these dreads that um because of the way they're designed they're a bit um, oh, his head's on a on a it's been put pushed flat so basically push it like that and it just kind of you don't really want to peg in like really but come on because that because his his hips should connect together and they want to but they're not really secure so what i mean it keeps falling open come on you fucker that's it and then you rotate that in like a saw um and then you come through his arms rotate them down and then you rotate that in and then you come in here like that rotate his fist out thus same again this side, rotate, 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 pull out, and then we rotate his arms down. And as for his dreads here, you can position them, they're in they're in a softer plastic, and it, if they're in a position for a while, they'll tend to stay like that, but I've seen this on Emgo's video, actually. Uh, it's a good guy, Emgo, you should check him out. And, um, and then, so basically what he did was take these sections here and then just fit them in to here, and all you need to do is just leave them for a couple of minutes or so. And what that does is it then gives the bend for the for these dreads when it wants to go in. And it doesn't want to go, come on. Come on. Come on. There we are. Um, again, these ones you kind of just leave at the back like that, and it doesn't really matter. I kind of like them sort of a bit disarray. Um, and there he is in robot mode, and very nice. And you know me, um, I'm not a particular fan of the movie verse um, aesthetic, but I really like this guy. I think he's cool. Apart from his dreadlocks getting in the way, he's he's, he's a really cool little transformer. Um, in terms of articulation, you can rotate at the shoulder. But he's kind of hindered by this kibble that's sticking off there. It'd be nice if there was a little hinge here. And you could just put that up against his arm there. But, you know, it is what it is. He can bend at the elbow about 90 degrees-ish. can rotate at the elbow. Um, nothing at the wrist. That's more for transformation. His head is on a double ball joint. So he can move it. Well, no, it's on a hinge and a ball. So you can move it forward. Move it looks down, looks up. And rotates 360 exorcist style. Nothing at the waist. It does kind of have an ab crunch, but it's more for transformation. Um, and you can rotate his leg out like that. It's on a ball joint. So it's back, forward, any which way you like. You can't really do the preceptor kick as such. That's about the best you're going to get. Um, he can rotate at the top of the thigh as well. When I can get it, there you go. And he can bend quite far at the knee, actually. Um, and his foot can move back and forward again. But that's more for transformation. And that is your lot. Um, but pretty fucking cool. Pretty fucking cool. I really do like this, and uh, and you know what? Some of these studio series figures do look really good, for the most part. Yeah, there you go. You can pull these dreads out. So I mean, they've only been in there a couple of minutes, you know, while I've been doing it, and they're already a little better. So any which way you like, really. Now he can hold his um, spiky, um, pointy sticks of death. Um yeah he holds on he holds on to them pretty nicely. Um, and he can stab a fool. He can go, I'm gonna cut you, I'm gonna cut you. Ooh. Um oh, his shoulder should come down there, there we are. And for some reason that's got back up on his back. That's it, it should fit there on his back. But you know, it is what it is, and it's pretty cool. You can use these these little clips that are well these little sort of hooks that are on his uh, weapons there, and they just fit on this little bit there. Thus. And you can store them there if you want to. It's a thing that you can do, as Demgo says. But I like to have him, you know, in proper, I'm going to cut you mode. I'm going to point, I'm going to poke you with a pointy stick. Um, but yeah, he's really cool. Um, should you get this guy? Yeah, I think you should. I mean, don't be paying what they're asking for it. 
see if you can get it on clearance um, because the 20, hang on, um, wait a minute, the, we should have to brace on it, bless her. Um, I've lost it, I've stuck it under here. Oh, there it is. I mean, the price should have been 21 quid for this guy. Um, and she paid um, £10.50. Um, so, yeah, don't pay any more than, than a tenner for this, really. You know what I mean? Um, because it's it's cool, but for the right, for the right price point, I wouldn't have paid £20 for him, I'm telling you now. Um, but I do, I do like it, and I think you should get it. Yeah, I like these kind of technical things. Pretty cool. They are pretty cool. You know, um, you can sort of if you hold on to them for a little bit, they kind of retain the shape a little. Um, so you can have them floating in the in the air and stuff like that. But you know, he's really, really, oh, really yeah. shush. He's really fucking cool. I think you should pick this guy up if you can. Uh, but like I said, don't pay too much for him. Get him for a decent price. Um, so there we go. And you can. I've got nowhere to put him for now, but I will find somewhere. Because he's really cool. I do like him a lot. I think he's really cool. Um, and, like I said, when she got me him, a big smile on my face, because I've been a bit bit sort of down lately. There's a lot of, been, a lot of things been going on, and I've been a little down, and um, and she, she bought me this fella, and he um, and she made me feel a little bit better. Um, oh, I forgot to mention... Um, the packaging with well, like all studio series you actually get in the packaging oh shit all the instructions for that um you do get like a um display for it and it opens out and you've got studio series zero three and then you've got on this side just transformers um and you've got like a battle scene going on now that transformers um logo shouldn't be there i'd have rather had it on the side here it's kind of redundant and it kind of breaks up the display a bit, but the display is really nice. I mean, for an extra bit of, uh, it's only cardboard, but you know, um, to stand your figure on there and you can have like a battle scene going on, you know, which is really fucking cool, I think. Um, although I think toy hacks do better, um, do better um, backgrounds, but, oh, it's pissed, it's falling over. But, I mean, you know, you can put him there. You can put him in vehicle mode on there, and it looks pretty cool. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's an extra thing that you can do with the figure. You know what I mean? Um, so, you can have him in the... Um, I don't know, get some garage or something like that. Um, so, you can have him in there going, Ooh, I'm going to stab a fool. Um, yes, it's like the just an image from the movie. I think it's actually taken without any special effects on it. So, you know... But it's something else, isn't it? It's a nice little touch that the studio series are doing. Um, makes them appear more high-end than they really are. Um, which is not a bad thing. I always dropped this thing up there. But, you know, he's a really nice little figure. And if you can find one, and like I say, for a decent for the decent money, he's really cool. Um, come on, that's how you... That's how you I might put these in... Um, one more and see if I can get him in a really nice sort of dynamic pose. And if you, like I say, if you just hold on to it for a little bit, it kind of holds its shape. There you go. I kind of like it it's sort of messy. It's kind of cool, but it should be up like that. Yeah, so that's me. That's Crewbar. And if you like what I do, why not considering... Um, why not consider... Uh, becoming a Patreon, there are some cool rewards on there, and um, and you can see what things are going on. You know, you can have a say in things, and um, there's a few different rewards on that. Um, please give this video a big thumbs up, helps out the channel. And while you're down there, why not su consider subscribing and uh, hit that notification bell, and, I'll, and uh, it'll tell you when I've got new videos. And check out my other Transformers playlist, but also check out my Star Trek stuff I do as well. So um, yeah, so that's me. That's Crowbar. And I will bid you adieu. Adios.